Okay, so this is my third example in evaluating trigonometric functions given yung constraint. Okay, so number three, we have cosecant theta equal to four. Constraint is cotangent theta less than zero. Again, ang cosecant natin ay positive. Okay, ang ratio ng cosecant is r over y. Okay, so ito ay r over y. So, may 1 to sa ilalim. So, ibig sabihin yan, ang R natin ay 4, ang Y natin ay 1. Okay. So, ang nawawala ay X. Okay. Solve muna natin yung X. Solving X. Okay. We have R squared equals to X squared plus Y squared. Transpose natin si Y squared. We have R squared minus Y squared equal to X squared. Okay. Then, square root natin both sides. We have R squared minus Y squared equal to X. Okay. Then, okay, substitute natin yung given values natin. R is uh, 4. So, we have here 4 squared. Y is 1. So, 1 squared equal to X. So, we have 16 minus 1 equal to x. Square root of 15. Okay? Now, ano yung signs na gagamitin natin na value ng x? Okay? Tingnan muna natin yung ating given function value at saka yung kanya. Constraint. Okay? Nasaan ba yung ating angle? Theta. Si cosecant positive. At si cotangent negative. Si cosecant ay positive either sa first and second quadrant. Dito positive si cosecant theta. Okay. And then, si cotangent ay negative. Saan ba negative si cotangent? Dito sa fourth quadrant, cotangent is less than zero here, greater than zero, greater than zero. Negative si cotangent sa fourth quadrant at negative din siya sa second quadrant. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating, ating angle theta located siya sa second quadrant, ang kanyang terminal side. Okay? Kasi greater than zero si cosecant, less than zero si cotangent. Okay? So, siya ay nasa second quadrant So na andito siya. So si theta natin. Okay? X here y. Solve na natin yung other five trigonometric functions. We have sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, secant theta, and then um sorry, cotangent po na cotangent theta and then uh, second theta now ano ang sign ng ating x dun sa ating second quadrant so negative so ang gagamitin natin dito negative square root of 15 ok so lagay natin yung mga ratios we have sign is y over r cosine is x over r Tangent is y over x, cotangent is x over y, second is r over x. Now, lagay natin mga values. We have y over r, so that is uh, one fourth. Okay. X over r, so we have negative square root of fifteen over r is four. And then for tangent, y over x, so y natin a one. Ang x natin ay negative, square root of 15. Then, rationalize natin, multiply natin is square root of 15, square root of 15, top and bottom. We have uh, square root of 15 over negative 15. And for cotangent, reciprocal lang nito. So, we have negative square root of 15 over 1 or just simply negative square root of 15. And for second, reciprocal of cosine. So, that is 
4 over negative square root of 15, rationalizing the denominator. We have 4 square root of 15 over negative 15. Okay. So, yun yung ating third example in evaluating trigonometric functions of angle theta given yung constraint. Okay? So, thank you.